Alright guys, so uh, this is going to be a professional fur handling raccoon. Uh, we're going to do a three part series and it's going to be part one is going to be skinning, part two is going to be flesh, part three is going to be boarding. And uh, I think I'm going to split part three into two parts. I'm going to board one on a board and then I'm going to put one on a wire stretcher since I know, you know both of them are, are used quite a bit. So uh, anyway, we're going to get started here. We've got a Raccoon here. We're gonna skin this one out. Uh, I'm gonna skin them on a machine. Uh, if you don't have one, the process is still generally the same. Uh, I'm gonna show here the tools uh, I use. Uh, we got a first cut knife. I'm gonna make our initial cut with. We have our regular uh, skinning knife here. We're gonna use. Uh, we've got a steel and a longer steel rod here. We'll show you what that used for uh, once we start skinning it. We've got a uh, good tail stripper here, tail zip, a uh, good fur brush, and then uh, of course uh, you want gloves whenever you're dealing with the critters. So uh, anyway, we've got our coon here. He's hung up. We're going to brush him all out, get any uh, cocker burrs or mats or anything out of them that'll, uh, that'll hurt you whenever you're fleshing if you hit those. So we're going to get him brushed out here and then uh, we're going to go to the skinning process. So, uh, stay tuned. Okay, guys. So, uh, we've got our coon here. we got him hung up. We're just going to take him, brush him out real thorough. Get any of the burrs out and everything. Okay. Now then, we're going to start out. I've got him hung up. You can see I've got a little clamp system, how I do it. But, uh, you can do this on a table or on a, just put him up on one leg of the gamble, however you want. What we need is we need him to be strung out from leg to leg because we're going to make our initial cut. And this initial cut is going to determine how this coon is going to lay on the board. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take, we're going to take our knife and we're going to go not from the, the back of the heel, but from right on the inside of the heel, we're going to draw a line, imaginary line, straight up or through. It's going to be about an inch to an inch and a half below the vent. On a female... It, it's it's almost a straight line on a male just go right on below on that side of the testicles okay so we're gonna real simple we're just gonna take our knife just make our initial cut real easy this isn't a speed thing I'm gonna try to go real slow this is strictly educational so everybody can see what I'm doing okay next I'm gonna take our coon we're gonna come to the vent and we're gonna take our knife and we're gonna go right here on the bottom of the vent we're gonna cut in and we're just gonna go right around the vent and straight up then we're gonna go to the other side right around the vent straight up we don't want to leave a whole bunch of hair we just right around the vent okay next you can do this with your hands I prefer to use a piece of steel it makes things easier take a piece of steel run it right up inside the leg there Come out right in the center of the body. We're gonna pull down. Okay, that frees up that whole leg. Now, I'm gonna skin this on the machine, so I'm gonna skin all the way up to the top of the feet, so I can get a better better hold on my machine. If you are not, you can cut the foot right off. You can see, come right up to the top, leave that little flap of skin. Okay, next we're gonna put his leg on the other. Clamp him down, same thing. We're gonna take our steel. We're gonna run it right up. Come out right at the vent. I'm gonna pull down. Okay, that frees up that whole back leg. Once again, take our knife. We're just gonna cut the foot loose there and pull right up, leave a little patch there you can see for our machine. Okay, now then, now, we put him on our our gamble here. Stick him on there. I'll raise him up a tad bit. Okay. Now then. Now we're going to take a steel. We're going to run it right below the base of the tail. And we're going to pull down. 
Okay, that frees up that whole backside. Now we're gonna take our knife, make just a little incision here. We're just gonna just wring the tail real easy. Just enough where we can get our tail stripper on. Put our tail stripper on. We're gonna push and pull all at the same time. Tail pops out, take our tail zip. Strip our tail. Okay, come around to the front. On males, I especially like to pull this little bit loose because sometimes the penis bone will get caught and you'll pop them. So we're just gonna start it just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna run him down. On my machine here, and I'm gonna clamp him in to the uh, clamps here. Okay, now we're gonna start pulling on it. Okay. We're going to pull all the way to the arms. Next, we're going to take our steel and we're going to run right in between the arms. We're going to pull down and that just frees the arms up a little bit. Okay, freeze the arms up. We're going to cut them. I like to cut my arms long. You can cut them off in the boarding process. That way you know exactly what length to get to. Cut those off. Next. We're going to come right here to the neck and we're just going to just kind of take our knife blade and just free that up just a little bit before we start pulling again. We're going to pull a little bit more and then we're going to make our cut around our ears. We're going to make nice deep cuts so the ear holes aren't real big. Want them to look real good. Come over here to the other ear. Okay. We're going to work our knife blade down just a little bit. Okay, we're going to pull this a little bit more. Now we're down to the eyes right here and the jaw. We're going to open up the opening in the jaw. We're going to cut our eyes. We don't want big eye holes. We're just going to cut right around the eye socket. You can almost follow that down with your knife. Okay, once we get that done, we're going to pull in a little bit more. We're going to come down to the nose. We want to work that nose all the way down. You leave a long nose whenever you put it on your board, you're losing inches. So we're going to finish it off all the way down. We're going to call it good. All right, guys. That's our skin coon. I wash all my fur. I think it gives a better presentation. So I've got this coon here now. Nice coon, nice big. This is a late season coon. It's good and prime. We'll put him in the washing machine and uh, part two will be fleshing. Okay guys, till next time.